All right, let's do the Blazing Five pick. Shall we? Let's not waste any time. We do it every Friday at this time. Through 10 games, we're five and five. I love my picks this week as much as you can love picks. Let's roll the tape. Hot thing. Hot thing. Let's blaze it up. Hope you can take the heat. It's Collins Blazing Five. Blazing Far in the herd. Colts at Titans. All right. I have to give up three and a half points with the Colts. I'm going to do it. I'll take the Colts. Listen, they face the Bills and the Jets. You can make an argument. Those are the two best defenses in the league right now with tremendous defensive coaches. Tennessee is not in that class defensively. The Colts have won 13 consecutive games against the AFC South and started 0-2 last year. They've won the last seven meetings between these teams. It is a matchup issue, and now Tennessee, even though they're at home as a rookie quarterback, this is going to be to some degree a shootout. You're not going to keep holding Andrew Luck down to field goals. He's going to get in the end zone. And I love taking teams off awful Monday night football losses. Like when a team's on TV on Sunday night or Monday night and they're terrible and it's humiliating, like Minnesota in week one, they always bounce back with a really good effort. Swallow the points. Indy 28, Titans 20. 49ers at Cardinals. I almost never, ever swallow anything over three and a half or four points. I'm going to take Arizona at home minus six and a half. Listen, under Bruce Arians, they've been great at home, 14 and three. You know, look who they play at home. They played some good Niner teams and the Seahawks. Carson Palmer. Carson's won 15 of his last 17 starts, including the last eight. And Mike Iapati on the offensive line appears to be coming back. Right tackle Bobby Massey could be coming back and upgrade to the offensive line. Arizona is winning impressively, and they're not doing it with turnovers. They have a plus zero turnover ratio. They're not even winning that battle. And San Francisco's a limited offense. No Frank Gore. Anquan Bolden and Vernon Davis, old guys at wide receiver. San Francisco had nine guys retire, yet they're still old. I don't like this team. I don't necessarily buy the coach. They're thinning down Kaepernick's offensive sheet. I think Arizona rolls 28 to 13. Bills at Dolphins. Couldn't believe I got Buffalo in points. I'm going to try them again. Miami is not in September. They've not been in recent years a good team straight up. Eight of their last 23. Also, they have been gashed on the ground. Did you watch that Redskin game they won? They were gashed on the ground, and Buffalo can run the football. Yeah, Buffalo lost to New England, but they beat Indy, and they're fourth in points a game in the NFL, averaging 150 yards rushing. And Miami's rush defense isn't good. Also, Buffalo lost to New England, but they had a real push and no quit and a real fight. And in the last 22 points scored, Buffalo scored 19 of those. And Tyrod Taylor has limitations, but he's thrown for 440 yards in the first two games. He has his moments. He's capable. I'm getting a much better running game, a much better defense. I may be getting the better coach, and I got a quarterback that's capable of making plays. I'm taking the points. Bills win 28 to 26. Broncos at Lions. Staff thought I was nuts, but I'm going to take Detroit at home plus the field goal. Yeah, Detroit's looked really bad, but they also led San Diego 21-3 on the road. Take out the Minnesota game. It was miserable. It was a stinker. They couldn't play worse. The story here to me is Denver. Denver, with five turnovers, struggled to put away Kansas City. The Broncos needed two touchdowns in nine seconds of fluke to beat Kansas City. They're not a 2-0 roster. Okay? Denver's last nine on the road, they've been 5-4. and four. Lions have won four straight home openers. And Detroit's one of those teams that has talent. Uh, Matt Stafford, they've got young, good tight ends. They're hoping for a revamped running game. And they've got Calvin Johnson. They're capable of scoring points. And I just don't think this Denver offense should be giving up points on the road to a capable quarterback in Matt Stafford. I say Detroit pulls off the upset 27 to 26. I'll take the points. Chargers at Vikings. Again, I'm getting, I think, the better team, and I'm getting two and a half points. Yes, Minnesota bounced back after a humbling Monday night football loss. 
That's the history of this league. They're still an average team with a limited passing offense. They are last in the NFL in passing as Minnesota and only one wide receiver over 100 yards. San Diego lost at Cincinnati, but Cincinnati could have the best roster in the entire league. And San Diego has already amounted to 350 yards last year at week against Cincinnati. 350 yards. It's not easy to get 350 yards against Cincinnati, and 130 of it was rushing. They can run the football. They're an excellent running team. They will control Minnesota and the clock. I'm getting the better team that lost the competitive game against an excellent roster in Cincinnati. It's a step down in class. San Diego plus two and a half beats Minnesota 28 to 23. I love my points. The staff mostly agreed except Detroit. I took them over over. Denver. I'm just not I'm not feeling it with Denver right now. I think they've been lucky with the turnover ratio and the team that I I'll tell you what, if Carson Palmer stays healthy, Arizona is good.